this might be a longer episode, folks, because I have all this stuff to show you. So, hello, friends, and welcome to Eric Levison, whiskey aficionado. How are you? Yes, I had a very happy birthday on Wednesday. I need to give you a little update, though. That uh, mixer was expired in 2017, and I should have thrown that away and not used it at all because I got very sick the next day. If you have old mixers, please toss them away. We need to clear out the uh, fridge more often. Anyhow, today we've got a lot going on. First of all, new cravat from my friend Michelle Duffy for my birthday. She sent me three of them and a pocket square, which I don't know how to work, especially because this pocket is sewn up, so I couldn't put it in. I had to I have to get the little thing, and it's a long story. Anyhow, uh, so there's a pocket square, too. Very generous. Thank you, Michelle, for that. And then this, this sign was from my friends Michael and Jenny, who also sent me uh, something else that I will show you later in the episode. What else? Did I, I, was, I received a few things from my friends for my birthday. It was very nice. Uh, my little brother and his uh, fiance. Or is, is that a secret? Should I have said girlfriend? I don't know. Uh, Sean and Kristen. They sent me uh, uh, a poster. I'm trying to get the glare on it. Too much of anything is bad, but too much whiskey is never is barely enough. Mark Twain. We've used that quote before. And they also sent me something I've looked at quite a bit online. The Northern Glass. Also trying not to get the glare on it. This was created by uh, Jim McEwen. The Northern Glass has been uh, designed to capture whiskey's complex flavors and aromatics and deliver them to the senses like never before. So we got that going for us, which is nice. So this is what I'll be using today. It's very light, which I did not expect. I expected that to be very heavy. It's not. And of course, like I said, I was gonna try one of the whiskeys that my friend sent me. This is from my friend, Jim Ferris. Now I've known Jim for a little while. I've known his wife longer, Aaron McGuire. Aaron and I were on a tour of Susical the Musical at the beginning of the century. That was a long time ago. And Jim sent me this. He sent me a whole thing right here that I have to read to you from the Maha'a, that's M-A-H-A apostrophe A, Maha'a Tiki Lounge in the beautiful Pineapple Ranch, which is the bar in his house. It is my pleasure to introduce to you the Brookside Barrel. And there it is, the Brookside Barrel. I feel like Craig, Craig Ferguson. Have you seen the Brookside Barrel? Yeah, there you go. The barrel is an ongoing experiment in bourbon blending. He's blending his own bourbons. Our latest offering is a combination of Eagle Rare, Knob Creek Barrel Proof, and Booker's. Now we've only had Eagle Rare on this episode. We have had a Knob Creek before, but that was small batch. This is Barrel Proof, which is a little stronger. He says, they have been blended in a charred five liter oak barrel that was flavored with port for two weeks before any bourbon entered the premises. This particular blend is about eight months old. Tasting notes consist of words like, holy crap, oh Lord, baby Jesus, and I hope you can't see what I'm doing to myself with my other hand as I drink this. I love Jim. To learn more about the Maha'a Tiki Lounge, listen to Dear Pod Podcast. Now, Dear Pod Podcast is Aaron McGuire's very, very popular podcast you can find on iTunes and I'm sure many other places as well. And I, I highly recommend it if, if you would like a laugh for a little bit. Trust me. Go listen to the podcast. And then he signed it, Propo Propo Owner, which I appreciate. Now, he's also doing a, a YouTube thing uh, that goes together with Dear Pod Podcast, where he and a friend of his are making cocktails that go with the episode. It's a fantastic idea. I love that. But today, we will be trying his blend. This is new to me. Having someone send me a, their own blend of, of bourbons. This is exciting and terrifying at the same time, because what if I hate it? Let's nose this, shall we? Let's do it. I'm trying to see if I smell the port from the port cask. A little bit, there's some sweetness going on in there. That just smells like really good bourbon though. It's uh, it's sweet, it's uh, dense. It's not smoky, but it's, uh, I don't know what I would call that. It's, it's uh, there's some kind of, not smoke, but uh, like, 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 like the other day, we talked about um, the mesquite and stuff like that. There's a small little kind of like a wood flame kind of thing going on. So I'm very excited about this. Let's drink it, shall we? Slancha. Here's to you, Jim. <laughs> K. 
Caribbean queen. Now we're sharing the same dream. I shouldn't have picked that. Whew, that was really high in my register. Oh my gosh. The proof must be through the roof because that was, wow. I was not expecting that. That's great. Oh, the warmth in the chest right now, I got to tell you, is really nice. Oh. oh, you're gonna have to give me a second. <laughs> that is extremely tasty. And the finish is just going on and on and on. Let me take another sip before I talk about it. <laughs> Pow, right in the kisser. That, <laughs> that's some high proof going on there. I didn't ask him about that, and he didn't write anything about it, but, oh, man. I should, I'm going to look that up. I'm going to put it down here about what that proof possibly could be between those three. Oh, that's, um, that is potent. Whew. I'm going to need uh I don't know what I'm going to need. I'm going to need a cigar after this. This is unreal. That finish will not stop. It is just going and going, and it's really great. That's the biggest kick I've, I've tasted in quite a long time. I think the highest proof you can have in a bourbon before it turns into something else is like 130-something, I think. That's off the top of my head. I'm not, I'm not sure about that. But <laughs> even tiny little sips are so, so good. I'm glad I just ate because this would knock me off my chair. Sorry, I'm not even getting into like the flavors and the aromas and everything. It's just, it's it's a lovely aroma. But let's, let's, let's dab a little water in it and see what happens with it because that's thrilling. Let that agitate, if you will. Let's drink it again, whew. Oh, all right, so now we can start getting into things. It's not as much molasses as it is maple syrup in just the right amount, like you're just pouring it over pancakes. It almost tastes like pancakes with maple syrup on it. That's really good. I can almost taste the butter. Oh, 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 oh. there is some kind of, I hesitate to say smoke, but there's a, and it could be just the proof being very high. That could do it. But there's a, such a kick in the back. And it goes right up into the navel cas, ca, ca, my nasal cat. wow goes right up into my nose that is just so lovely I can't even I can't even tell you there was something so nice about th this blend and I don't know why he chose these three Jim knows his whiskey and his scotch and his bourbon and his everything he should really be on this show I mean I am the aficionado but he's Jim this is uh, fantastic it really is I'm enjoying it so much. The um, the finish is definitely maple syrup on pancakes. And if you don't like that, then what's wrong with you? I will cherish this gem very much. I can't believe you sent it to me. It's not for beginners. I'll tell you that right now. This is for someone who really enjoys their whiskey and wants that uh, big, big, big pow of flavors and aromas when it hits the tongue. This is for you. I'm so glad I got to share this with you right here on Eric Levitin. Whiskey aficionado, I'm going to leave you with this. When life gives you lemons, add a little whiskey. Good advice. This is also from my friends Michael and Jenny Kostroff. I appreciate them very much. Although I know Jenny was the one who found this one. Let's be honest. It's Jenny. But until next time, I'm enjoying this and I might get shit-faced very early this morning. <laughs>